Leo, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Leo, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, Leo, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Terrible. You will love her and stay tuned till the end of your reading while we pull a final message from your spirit guides and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in, see what we got going on for you, Leo. First card is five of wands. Your angels are telling you not to put so much pressure on yourself, right? This pressure that you're putting on yourself, telling yourself, I should have done this. I shouldn't have done this. Why did I do this? That energy right there is taking you out of the frequency, the energy of your angels and guides. And then when you're not in the same frequency as them, they can't give you downloads. They can't give you those aha moments of clarity. What to do next, right? Remember, like your angels and guides, you're your most, they're your emotional guiding system. You're, they're your GPS. Right now, there's something big that they want to tell you about. You got the Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Something big is about to manifest for you. And right now they're guiding you there. So do not be hard on yourself. Everything that happened, happened for a reason. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you never have to feel as if you missed the boat or, or you're hard on yourself. I'll show you how to clear this energy by the end of this reading. Now look at this, Queen of Pentacles, Judgment, Justice, the Strength card, King of Pentacles, that beautiful quantum entangled energy of yours. And now you have Knight of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. That's a travel card with another travel card and another one, the world and the three of wands. This is a lot of new energy here for you. Now, Leo, your affirmation for today is I am open to receiving money. Yes, you are. Affirmation means effortless attention. Quantum entangle with the energy of money by writing this down in the comment section. I am open to receiving money. Let the universe know that you invite money into your life. Let your angels and guides know that you're ready and you welcome money into your life write this down in the comment section. I am open to receiving money, command, assume, expect this energy. I am open to receiving money. Right now, you're attracting energy of people, opportunities, and situations that are in perfect harmony with you. You are quantum entangling with wealth because I do see here big changes happening for you. Remember, it is your birthright to be rich. Your angels and guides want to see you flourish. They want to be able to see you in that car that you wanted, in the house that you always wanted, buying that house, or getting that job or that promotion that you want. You are meant to live happy and healthy. You are not at all meant to suffer. And I do see here major opportunities being presented to you to live your life's purpose being compensated for something you truly love something you're passionate about waking up in the morning telling yourself man I can't wait to go create not just like oh man I have to go to my job you don't have to do that for example there were many many years I used to wake up and go to this retail jobs that I used to have retail businesses and I wasn't passionate about it I would wake up and be like oh I gotta go to work but then I pivoted to other work to other jobs that I love for example we have online business Businesses. We have Amazon businesses, we have Airbnbs, we have our YouTube channels. This is something that you can do too. This is not something that you know only you see in the movies. I see here you doing something that you are not only passionate about, but you getting compensated for it. Something that you would do for free anyway. Maybe you love cooking and you're doing culinary arts. Maybe right now you've been waiting to network or collaborate with someone. Maybe you have a skill that you're good at. You're gonna strike a conversation with someone at a coffee shop. They're gonna say, what do you do? They're gonna say, hey, you know what? I'm in this niche and genre. You'd be a perfect fit. Why don't you apply it at our, at, our, at our business, at our company? This happens all the time. I see here that you're going to go through different opportunities to travel in the near future as well. And these opportunities may give you the aha moment of clarity to be able to pivot and change course and head down the path that you're going to be feel more compensated for your time. So there's a lot of changes here happening, but you have to be able to hear the messages from your angels and guides. And this is why they're like, don't put pressure on yourself because they want a clear channel to you. And this is why I'm like, write down, I am open to receiving money. I want you in that vibration. I'm going to show you a trick right now, how to clear your energy and how to be in a frequency that not only you always hear what your angels and guides have to say, but you are so magnetic that you are undeniable. 
this energy right here really puts you in a, in, in a, in a place where your angels want you to focus on. And this is by commanding your energy. This is by not waiting for something, but watching it, but also by using your imagination because we are who we imagine, right? And this right here works like a charm. Doesn't matter if you're trying to attract money into your life. Doesn't matter if you're uh, attracting your soulmate. It doesn't matter if you're attracting health, right? This trick works at all times. Now, before I show you this, there's also some something on your mind here that they want you to let go of. So what are you thinking of right now that is making you feel like you're walking on eggshells, like you're just kind of tippy-toeing about? There's an energy here that also is almost like... It's an energy of a shadow that needs to get brought to light and clearing the energy from this is also going to help free up a lot of energy on your part. So right now, this technique is called the wanted technique, right? Like a trick that I love to use to not only clear energy, but put myself in a high frequency to be able to hear what your angels have to say. When you are wanted, when you are happy, like happiness is being wanted. Now, what does that mean? Providing a service. Happiness is like for, for knowing that people want you around, want your energy around. That's why we feel so fulfilled when we are given attention to. Now, this trick works in a way where you need to visualize what it is you're looking for, but feel as if the person is really grateful that you are there. And I'll give an example. I want you to visualize right now walking into work, your boss coming up to you and saying, Leo, oh my goodness, thank goodness you're here. Listen, there's a position that just opened up. I read recommended you for it. Don't even worry about the second interview or nothing. You're going to get the job. All you have to do is just, just apply for this. It's already a sealed deal. Now, I need you. I want you in this position. I made sure the pay is double. The hours are better because I need you. You are the only person I trust for this position. I need you for this position. Please do me a favor and apply. Feel that energy. Ah, right? Or imagine this, holding your soulmate's hand, going for a walk, them turning around, looking you in the eyes and saying, Leo, I love you so much. I want you. I need you. You're the only person that makes me feel safe. You're the only person that really makes me feel like I'm the, the best version of myself. You make me want to be a better person. I need you. I want you, Leo. Please bless me with your energy. Thank you so much for being so, so great to me. This year I'm going with this. When you are wanted, you're like, Ah, you're on the right track. You feel relieved. This energy is exactly what spirit wants. And this again works like a charm. When you are feeling relieved, what are you doing? You're in a position where you're not resisting. When you're not resisting anything, you're not resisting everything. Now by using this strategic approach, having this game plan, not only does it work when you visualize something that you want, but also something you're about to do. For example, Imagine you're about to go join a spin class, a yoga class. You've never been there before. You are anxious. Now, you are worried that when you get there, it's hard to make friends. What can you do? Visualize yourself going there, someone coming up to you and saying, listen, hi there, how are you? We would really want you to sit with us because we need one more person in the team. Nothing would make us happier if you would join us. Can you please be a part of our team? We really want you and need you. Do you see where I'm going with this? This right here is how you no longer are waiting for something something, but now you are commanding it. And that's why I'm like, write down, I am open to receiving money, quantum entangled with this energy. Let the universe know you're ready and watch the universe deliver this message to you. Now check out your animal spirit, embrace the in-between flamingo spirit, one of my favorites. What is the in-between divine timing, right? Divine intervention and divine source. So if you've been waiting for a transitional period, say if you're like, I am here and I want to get here, you've been waiting to accomplish your goal, learn to love the process, the in-between. Because when you learn to love the process, it becomes effortless. So for example, imagine right now you're like, mm, I want to lose 10 pounds in weight. But right, right now, rather than be like looking at the 10 pounds, learn to love the process in between. Half a pound, one pound, one and a half pounds, two pounds. Every time you make progress, celebrate it. Celebrate that victory. Own it, right? Really enjoy the in-between because learning to love the in-between is really how you re not, are not waiting for something, but you're always in a high vibration. All right, Leo, now final message from your spirit guides. Look at this beautiful card. The message is infinite blessings. Yes, please. All right, now the message is, open your heart and your reality to the immeasurable gifts from nature. Loving energy is surrounding you. Love from the highest levels being showered onto you and to your life, onto your life. Uh, count, on to, count your blessings and remember that love is all around you, and it really is. Right now, there are so many good things going on in your life, so many good things. 
us humans, sometimes we focus on the one thing not going perfect and then we forget all the other things that are going right. The infinite blessings that await you, the, the, uh, the, the, the endless miracles that spirit wants to give you all come from you being in a neutral high vibration and you do that by quantum entangling with the energy. I am open to receiving money, writing the affirmation, or for example, doing that wanted effect technique. These things work like a charm and right now by focusing on what you want and not necessarily what is not going right. That is how you open up the doors to abundance in your life. All right, Leo, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.